right guys welcome back to another video um, I've just got myself a couple of spare hours and thought I'll uh, get in here and get stuck into these shelves and uh, if you saw the last video you saw that I built this wall here and I'll just swivel it around so you can see it that wall there now the next step in the uh, garage build is to start putting some shelves on the wall up here it should be a fairly straightforward sort of process I've picked up the uh, timber the uh, plywood sheets from Bunnings the 25 mil ply that I'm going to use for both the bench top and for the shelves, I'm going to basically cut 40 centimeters, 400 mils off the, sh off the 1200 sheet, use that for the shelves, and the remaining 800 will be for the bench tops. I haven't got heaps of time at the moment, it's, it's the uh, couple of weeks before Christmas, uh, you know, and the usual chaos that that in includes, including uh, getting ourselves a fresh Christmas tree. You like this one? I like this one. Yeah. And uh, bringing that home, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas vacation style with it on the roof. Uh, no squirrels in it though, thankfully. Um, yeah, so we set that up in the lounge room and I've uh, put some lights on the outside of the house. All right, so this is my attempt at a Clark Griswold Christmas vacation light show. I know, I know, it's embarrassing by comparison, but uh, we've got to start somewhere. Now I've made myself a little bit of working space here. All the stuff that was here that you would have seen in previous videos. I've cleared out, stuck it on the car. It's all donation stuff. I've got to drop off at the salvos at some stage. These are the timber sheets that are going to be used to uh, make the, um, get the broom out of the way. Yeah, to make the bench top and the shelves. 25 mil thick ply, nice and heavy. So anyway, I don't want to stand here and talk about it. I just want to get it done. I've got I only got a couple of hours. So the first step is to uh, crank up the laser level and um, get a level on the wall there. And that's just the simplest way to get a straight line on the wall. So what I'll do now is I'll go along and mark with a pencil just everywhere where a uh, hanger's going to go. That's these hangers here. Shelf brackets, I think you'd probably call them. Uh, these are really heavy duty steel ones. These ones here, which are a little bit nicer, a little bit lighter weight, they're going to be for the bookshelf along the top there. So the brackets uh, will obviously get bolted into where the the um, battens are behind the sheets and I know where they are because that's where the screws are so it's a pretty simple way to figure it out so it'll be one at one at the end one in the middle one in the join between the panels and then when I get to the end of the 2.4 meter sheet I'll have to put two because it'll be the end of one shelf start of another shelf so the total length of the shelf is the same length as the bench 4.8 meters and um, so four of these panels long so I'm going to run one shelf right along the 4.8 meters that'll be the, the top shelf and the second shelf down will only be this second half uh, 2.4 meters on these la on these two panels here i'm not going to have it over this side so over this side um, which is the area behind my desk my work area uh, i'm only going to have the top shelf not going to have the the second shelf down because I'm thinking I might put a logo, might put an Expedition Australia logo on the wall there, so it'll be sort of the background of a lot of the videos that I do. So while I've got the laser level set up there, I'll measure out where the second shelf's going to go as well. Um, top shelf was 370 down, so I'll do the same just to keep them level. And that's 370 there. So now I'll drop the laser down to that level. So I just need to go along and do the same thing again. These are the screws that I'm using to attach the uh, brackets to the wall. And uh, they're quite a heavy duty self-drilling screw and they're, they're black, with it. they've got a hex head in them, see that? They're black so that they'll match the brackets. Um, and they've got like a pan head, I think they're called, a wafer head. Um, now these have actually got a countersunk hole in them, but when I looked at uh, countersunk screws, about this size uh, they really didn't go very far and they were sitting up like way up high like that if you can see it they were sort of sitting up like that um, so i would have had to re-drill these like the, the countersunk part of the uh, bracket deeper to make them sit flush which is just a lot of mucking around like you know not really interested in doing um, so i got these which sit a bit nicer they don't sit in the hole but they sit you know like they were meant to be like that um, Actually, what I like about it is there's a little bit of play there. You see, I can I can move around. What that means is that I can finally adjust the height of the bracket to sort of make sure it's sitting up hard against the shelf. Because you know, even though I've got a straight line along the wall, the rest of it, there's bound to be a little tiny bit of movement from bracket to bracket. And um, so, if a bracket's sitting slightly down too low or slightly high, I can just loosen these 
and I can move that bracket up a little, up and up and down a little bit, just to fine tune it. So I think that's going to work out pretty well. This level's got a magnet on the side of it, which means it slightly sticks to the bracket, which makes it a bit easier. So I just basically align it with the top. I line the top of the bracket with the uh, line I put on there. Make sure it's level. And uh, this one's a bit easier because it's a join between the two sheets. I've got the line of the sheets anyway, so the level's kind of redundant in this one. And then just basically mark them out. Now at this point I could just throw the screw straight in there, but I figured, well, I'll mark them all out. And then I can basically put the level away and just drill them in. So there we go. One down, several more to go. So these uh, boards are a tongue and groove type design because they're basically designed to go on floors. They just interlock together with this tongue and groove situation. Uh, we call these yellow tongues and they're actually very useful for sticking down walls and, and uh, dragging cables through walls and things like that. So they'll get repurposed into that. But what it means is on these boards I've got a groove on, the, on either side of the, um, of the panel. So that needs to be the inside. So that's the bit that's going to be against the wall. So the cut that I do needs to be perfect because that's going to be the side facing out, the side we're going to see. And once I've finished, I'll give it all a bit of a sand and smooth it up. But, um, you know, this is going to be the inside, the ones that we don't see. And so to make sure I get the best possible result, I'm going to use the electric circular saw, not the battery one, because it's just going to need plenty of grunt to get through these thick panels. Um, and I don't want it slowing down or, or stalling or anything like that. I want just a nice, straight, smooth cut. And I'm also going to use another bit of timber um, as a straight edge to run the saw along because um, it's a long cut and I need it to be dead straight. And uh, so I need a nice, solid edge to, to push the saw up against. Um, so I'm going to run it through the timber. So I want to cut off 400 mil for the shelf, but the uh, saw has got a 30 mil gap there, so I'm going to cut 430 off. I'm going to set this up at 430, so that I end up with 400 cut off. That makes sense. Made sense in my head anyway. I'm starting to wonder if the shelf isn't too deep because it's pretty heavy. As much as those brackets are very heavy duty, it's still a lot of weight, especially for sitting out the front here. I've got all these boxes, um, which are like just, just you know, heavy duty cardboard boxes, which I got from Ikea years ago. And I used to use them underneath the bench back at the old place. Um, and I thought what I'll do is I'll actually run these along the top shelf here and just store bits and pieces in them, you know, cables and, and just odds and ends, because it looks neat and tidy, and I can lay, put a label on the front. Um, now they, they are 350, and that's 400. I'm gonna cut it down to 35. I'll take a little bit of weight out of it, make it a little bit closer to the wall, and uh, that center of gravity won't be too far out. I'm going to put the two end brackets on and uh, get them perfect. Then I can stick the shelf on the end brackets and screw it on, make sure it's nice and level. And then all I have to do then is go along and put the inside brackets in. No, I can just put them straight up hard against the shelf and that'll all be perfectly aligned. So I'm just going to pre-drill these holes so the screws go in nice and easy without splitting anything. What 
do we do before these things, eh? Jesus, imagine doing this by hand. That would be hard work. level oh yeah oh yeah that's pretty much spot on maybe a slightly low at this end that bit is absolutely rounded that was absolute rubbish wasn't it need a good one where have i got some good ones that one's tight very tight because it's like the paint on the screw has actually made the hole slightly smaller but we'll give it a go Perfect. So the screws I'm using for uh, attaching the shelf to the bracket are these Phillips head black screws. Um, they don't have to be super heavy duty like these ones because they're all they're really doing is holding the shelf onto the bracket. Um, the weight is all down on these ones. So I'm just going to uh, locate this one with a... Uh, I'm just pre-drilling them so that they don't split because being right on the end, if I just drill straight into it, bound to split. Happy with that. All right, so now that I've got the shelf basically located and you know firmly against the wall, I'm just gonna go and put all the other brackets in place and uh, they'll be pretty straightforward because they'll just slide up into place and then I'll just keep going to the other two shelves. <laughs> That's it, job done. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just do a quick cut back to the original shelf that I had on here, the original shelves that were here, which uh, the ones that came with the with the house. Bare brick wall and uh, some shitty old chipboard that had sagged and, and uh, yeah, it was all bent and warped and um, yeah, generally pretty untidy. So this is a huge improvement. Aesthetically, it looks a lot better, but it's also much more uh, heavy duty shelves and help with my overall storage challenges which I've got in here. So I've really got to find places to keep things that um, keeps them easily accessible but um, out of the way. So that's it guys, that's it for this video and um, in the next one I will either be doing the bench, um, I've got everything I need to do the bench now, that's going to involve building the whole uh, racket bench along the floor here, dyno bolting it to the floor and um, and then attaching those, those uh, bench tops which are the same material as this, the other bits that I cut off those larger sheets um, and making it all line up perfectly and fit nice and flush along the wall so probably a few little challenges with that. Um, I probably won't do the shelf along the top there yet mainly because um, I can't get to it easily we've got too much stuff over there at this stage so I'll have to come back to that one later on once I've got a bit more organization going on over there but uh, thanks for tuning in and um, I'll see you in the next video which will be as soon as I can possibly get it done.